wanted to start with you. What was your process like bringing this beloved character to life? And was it a challenge to, to strike that balance between paying homage to this established character while also making her your own? Mm, um, it, it felt really surreal getting to play her. Um, the skies everywhere was something that I, I had heard about, but I hadn't um, I hadn't read myself and I don't think I, I had really realized just how, you know, kind of important this story was to so many people and how a lot of people like grew up on it and, you know, read it in high school and it kind of, you know, painted their, their outlooks on, on, you know, teenage hood and stuff like that. And, um, it, so that was just really special. It felt like a total just privilege. I felt very, very honored to get to be, you know, a part of it, uh, and tell this story, tell Lenny's story. Um, and yeah, in regards to just the fact that she, you know, was already an existing character from, from the book, I, I, I don't think I, I, I really don't think I, I, I paid too much attention to that. I think that I felt like there was a lot of room to interpret her, like, you know, in my, in my own way with, with guidance from Josephine and from Jandy. And I think just because Jandy wrote the screenplay as well, that also contributed to my just kind of feeling comfortable and just, and feeling so present with, you know, everybody while we were filming that I, I don't think I was thinking too much about, you know, how, how people might look at what I had done and how, how, uh, you know, what they would think about, like, just me playing this already beloved character that exists already. Um, so, but I guess in retrospect, that was a good thing because it kept me really present and it let me just feel like I had creative freedom to just kind of make her my own. Yeah, great answer. And then Pico, uh, each character gets to explore such a wide range of emotions. How did you create that space for yourself to dive into the emotional journey that Toby undergoes throughout the film? Hard question to answer. Um, I'm finding today. I just read, I honestly, I read, I read it. And then, and then, uh, you know, there's that point at the end, sort of at the end where, where we find out kind of what's been going on. And, and I love the idea of a character who has a secret that is like weighing them down. And yeah, I mean, it's just so sad what happens to him. And uh, it was just a question of what, I hope we can get there on the day mm. and uh, Grace, Jacques, Josephine, Ava, producers, everybody made it so that the environment was such that we did, I think. Yeah, you guys definitely yeah. all did that. And Jacques, for you, Joe and Lenny have such a profound impact on each other. How do they influence um, each other throughout this journey? And what was it like getting to collaborate with Grace to bring this fan favorite duo to life on the screen? It was a blast <laughs> <laughs> to, bring, to bring Joe to life on the screen, I think. Of all the characters, um, Joe is, is really about his joy, and that's kind of how um, he relates to Lenny, is, is he uh, sort of shows her what that's all about, um, which is a foil to, to Lenny and Toby. Um, and, I, I, you know, I think that uh, they definitely go through their conflicts uh, at first, and, and, you know, at the heart of it all, though, Joe is trying to get her to play music with him. You know, and I think that like that's the cornerstone of all of it is to just get it out, right? Is it, whether it's grief, whether it's fear, pain, joy, pleasure, like get it out, sing, uh, you know, play the clarinet with me, you know, is, is is so much of the theme of their relationship, and I think that um, yeah, Jandy was there with us on set for a lot of the day, so she could help us shepherd the characters she wrote into a space of authenticity for for all of us. And um, Grace and Pico were just so emotionally available and like really digging through the material. I think you just heard Pico's explanation. It's like that ambiguity was something you were grappling with, you know, like I think it, it was really beautiful to watch. I learned something from watching you do your thing. And um, I think Josephine Decker, she is who she is for a reason. She was able to really just wield the articulation of everything so perfectly.